Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create this. Open After Effects, and create a new composition. Let's call it Old Text Animation. As always I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution and frame rate of 24, and keeping the duration to 10 seconds. Create a new text layer, and write your text here. I'm using Bifocals font here. You can download the same font from the link given in description. I'm changing the tracking amount to minus 64. Now hold control button on your keyboard, and double click on anchor point tool to center align the anchor point, and center align your text. Now we need audio file so import audio file in the timeline, open waveform of the audio layer. Now I will scale up the text, where the audio curves goes upwards. Come to the 15th frame, where curve starts going upward. Open scale and change scale value to 40. And add a key here. Go one frame forward and change scale value to 75. Now same scaling we will do with second curve. Go to 22nd frame and add a key here. Go one frame forward and change scale value to 125. Go to 1.05 seconds and add a key here. Again go one frame forward and change scale value to 175. Again go to 1.12 seconds and add a key here. Go one frame forward and change scale value to 220. Now you can check your animation. Cool. Now duplicate this text layer from last key, and rename the layer to lines text. Now we need to do changes in this new text layer, so hide the bottom text layer. Now change the font to any other font you like. I'm going with the army buster font here, and changing the tracking amount to minus 15. Now search for fill effect and apply it to the text layer. Again search for the bad TV2 old effect and apply it below the fill effect. Delete the wave warp effect from here, change the blur radius to 10, and transition completion to 30. Now deselect the layer and double click on rectangle tool two times to create a shape of comp size. Rename the shape layer to mask shape. Now come to 1.11 seconds and open position and add a key here. Go forward to 2 seconds and change position x value until the shape gets out of the screen. Select both keys and easy ease them. Now take the mask layer above the bottom text layer. Hide the lines text layer. Now we will use track mat option. If you can't see track mat button here, then use this toggle switches and change the text layer track mat to alpha mat. Cool. Now copy the mask shape layer, and place it at the top. Unhide the text layer, and change track mat to alpha inverted mat. Now search for the fast box blur effect and apply it to the bottom mask shape layer. Here change the blur radius to 7, and blur dimensions to horizontal. Now we will add flare. So drag and drop the flare PNG into the timeline. Search for CC Tunner effect and apply it to the flare layer. Now change the highlights color to orange. Midtones color to dark orange and shadows color to red. Again search for the glow effect and apply it below the CC Tunner effect. Here change the glow threshold to 55, and glow intensity to 0.6. Now come back to the first key, where the mask shape starts animating. Open position, 
and shift the flare to left side of the screen. And add a key here. Now go to the last key of mask shape layer and shift the flare position to right side of the screen. Perfect. Now open scale, and add a key here to zero. Hit you on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes, come to the first position key and add a key here. Now go 3 frames forward and change scale to 70. Go to the last key, come 3 frames backward, and change scale to 70. Select all keys and easy ease them. At last, change layer mode to add. Cool. Now, we will split two more texts from this text. So go to 2 seconds and copy the lines text layer, change the track mat to none. And place this layer at top. Now copy this layer once more. Rename the top layer to lines text yellow and second text layer to lines text orange. Now select both the layers and trim out from 2 seconds. Open position and add a key here. Go 16 frames forward, place the yellow layer to top, and orange layer to bottom. Now change the fill color to orange for the orange text layer, and yellow color for the yellow text layer. Now select both the layer keys and easy ease them. And open graph editor. Select the last keys and drag the handles to left like I'm doing here. Perfect. Now search for the echo effect and apply it on the yellow text layer. Change the number of echoes to 10, starting intensity to 0.65, and decay to 0.65 as well. Copy the echo effect from here and paste in the orange text layer. Now you can check your animation. looking good to me. Now search for CC light sweep effect and apply it to the lines text layer. Here, change the width to 75, sweep intensity to 100, and light color to yellow. Now come back to the last key of both above text layer, add a key on center, and place the center point to the left side of the text. Now go one second forward and change the center point to right side. Hit U button to reveal keys, select both keys and easy ease them. Now we will add particles here, so create a new solid of comp size, and rename it to background particles. Place this layer above the audio layer. Come back to 1.21 seconds and start the layer from here. Now search for the CC particles system 2 effect and apply it on the layer. Now I'm changing the layer to solo mode, so we can see only the particle layer here. Open producer option, and change radius Y value to 36. Now open physics, and change animation type to fire. And change velocity to 0.2. Now open particle option, change particle type to faded sphere, death size to 0.5, and birth color to orange. Now go to the beginning of the layer. Change birth rate to 0 and add a key here. Go 8 frames forward, and change birth rate to 0.2. Now come to 4.03 seconds and change value to 0. Now we need fade in and out opacity animation at beginning and end, so create a new adjustment layer. Keep this layer above all layers. Now search for the transform effect and apply it on the layer. Come to the first frame. Turn off the solar mode so we can see all layers. Change opacity to zero and add a key here. Now go to nine frames forward and change opacity to 100. Now go to 4.11 seconds and add a key here. Again go to nine frames forward and change opacity to zero. Cool. Now select all layers except audio layer. And pre-compose them. Rename it to Scene 1, 
and select the Move All Attributes option. Now trim out the work area from 4.20 seconds. Right click on the Time Ruler and select the Trim Comp to Work Area option. Open the project window and take a copy of the Scene 1 Comp. Come back to our main comp and drag and drop the Scene 2 Comp here. Here start the layer from 4.20 seconds. Play and check your animation. Cool. Now open the Scene 2 Comp and replace all the text here. You can change fonts color here as well. Looking good to me. Now come back to the main comp. Now create a new solid of comp size. And name it noise background. Place this layer above the audio layer. Search for the noise effect and apply it on the layer. Now change the noise amount around 20. Create a new adjustment layer. Place this layer at top of all layers. Rename the layer to old TV effect. Now search for the optics compensation effect and apply it on the layer. Change the field of view to around 75. And we are done with this tutorial. Now you can run preview your animation. If you find this video helpful then consider liking and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, sayonara.